Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, you may be developing various AI products, agentic AI products, generative AI products, and you may be using databases such as Postgres, or you may be using vector search databases. And one of the major challenges, what I feel, right, according from my experience, whenever we start any application from scratch, building it from scratch, uh, is how do we design the database schema? And it definitely takes uh, a good amount of time, specifically with Postgres, okay, Postgres database. And uh, there we face a lot of challenges. Uh, and, you know, we definitely have to have a lot of discussion with the architecture based on the kind of use cases that we are actually uh, creating, right? So this is one of the challenges. Uh, and definitely because of the uh, popularity of LLM models that are now available, we can definitely use LLM models and we can uh, be much more productive, you know, and we will be definitely able to create uh, the database schema design much more efficiently. But still, you know, from my experience, since I've been developing a lot of product, uh, still we face a lot of difficulties because still the AI LLM models are not that efficient to give us the right uh, database schema design because still uh, what I feel, you know, uh, the, the schema or the design that is actually created, right, it's still not efficient. There may be some issues uh, with respect to the data types that we have specifically created in terms of the table fields. Uh, there may be issues uh, uh, with respect to like how, how many tables, how it is linked with each other. And there may be different, different scenarios that may, we may face, right? So uh, uh, this problem, you know, uh, recently since we are developing a lot of products for our company, uh, we are solving it by using this amazing product which is called as Tiger Data. And uh, if we talk about Tiger Data, right, uh, recently Tiger Data has launched an open source model context protocol server. Uh, and they have designed it to help developers write Postgres code with AI coding assistance, uh, like any, any IDs like cloudy code you want to use, go ahead and use cursor, VS code, whatever things you basically want to use, uh, you should be able to do it, right? So this is the Tiger Data website. And here you can see that it is Postgres for developer devices and agents. It's just like this MCP server is basically having the right kind of information, you know, specifically to create anything with respect to Postgres from database schema design to queries to any kind of things that you really want to develop, right? And for that only this MCP server has been created. Uh, here you can see uh, the MCP server, which is basically called as, so here uh, timescale is also one more product from, uh, you know, Tiger Data. So if you go ahead and search for timescale Tiger Data, right? So here you'll be able to see that uh, time scale DB. So here you can see if I go ahead and just see this. Here uh, the information is that time scale DB is a Postgres SQL extension for high performance real time analytics on time series and event data. Right. So this is basically provided by them. And since I was talking about the MCP server, so this is the GitHub link. And here you can see this this MCP server is like a AI optimized Postgres SQL expertise for coding assistance. So any task that you specifically do from po in Postgres, right, uh, from schema design for, to optimizations to writing efficient queries, each and everything, this MCP server will actually help you to do it. And it is far more better than the normal LLMs that are probably available out there. And uh, I will show you the entire demo, you know, like uh, without using this MCP server, how we are getting the output and with with the help of the MCP server, how we are getting the output, right? So both of them I'll try to show you. Uh, and that way you will be able to understand it. So here you can see this PGA guide helps AI coding tools write dramatically better Postgres SQL code. It provides semantic search across the official Postgres, AI optimized skills, curated optimized, uh, optioned Postgres best practices and automatically by AI agents and all. Right. So you can see all the specific information. And the best part is that you have this public MCP server available. Right. And I'll show you how you can install it. And before I go ahead, since I've been using this particular product, uh, you know, I would definitely like Tiger Data for thanks for sponsoring this specific video. OK, uh, now let's go ahead and see that how we can go ahead and start it. Right. So first of all, here, if you go down, you have all the options, right? You can install it in cursor, you can install it in VS Code, you can install it in VS Code Insider, uh, you can install it in Goose, you can go ahead and use it in Cloudy Code, Codex, Cursor, Gemini CLI, VS Visual Studio, wherever you want, like Windsor. 
So I will show you one example since I've been using cursor. So I will just go ahead and click on this install in cursor. So here you can see I will just go ahead and open the cursor now. Now as soon as I open this cursor, this is one of the default project that I have in my cursor, right? And it is saying me to uh, probably install this MCP server. So here you can see the name is PG AI guide. And then you have this URL, uh, mcptigerdata.com slash docs. So I will just go ahead and install this. So once you install this, right, this cursor setting is basically over here, right, in tools and MCP. So that basically means you ha you are now connected. And here you can see that what all uh, uh, things have been uh, added with respect to this particular MCP server, right? These are all the functions we can basically use while using in the chat, right? Now it's time, what I will do is that I will, after installing this, you know, I will show you some of the amazing use cases uh, and how it can actually help you to efficiently write Postgres code, okay? So I have one more uh, over here, let me delete this file, okay? Okay, I'll have deleted this file. I will just show you some of the demos, uh, wherein I will show you, like after I give the instruction, right? Uh, how this code will get generated and this is really, really efficient and nowadays, you know, the most important thing for the LLM, uh, like how do we judge it that it is providing you the best output? It is very simple, uh, based on the context that is specifically provided to the LLM, right? So here you can see that I have some of the agents over here, agent is there. Now, inside this chat, you know, I will just go ahead and click this. So this is my chat that has been opened, right? Now, I will go ahead and just give a simple prompt, okay? So initially, I will try to generate a Postgres SQL code without using Tiger MCP server. So I'm, I'm saying that I'm going to disconnect from Tiger MCP server temporarily. Please help me design a Postgres SQL database schema for an IoT sensor monitoring platform with the following requirements. And here you have all the details like 10,000 temperature sensor sending readings every 30 second each reading including uh, includes uh, temperature humidity pressure battery level needs to store sensors metadata and all need to query data by sensor by time range data retention keep raw data for 90 days so i'm telling hey create this particular file with table and indexes so right now i'm not using any mcp server okay we will not use any MCP server. So this will, what it will do, it will go ahead and start designing it, okay? So here you can see in some time, this schema.sql will get created. So here it got, got created and uh, you can probably go ahead and see, hey, this is the code that we'll use. So here you can see the entire schema will be created like this by using this create table. Uh, we are using varchar, decimal, all these things. And then here you have indexes for sensor metadata query. So if you have some brief idea about SQL, you should definitely be able to understand this, right? So here we have created another table sensor readings and all, right? So this is without the MCP server, right? The Tiger data MCP server. Now what I will do, okay, fine. This is my output that I've got. Let's not go inside this, but we'll try to compare this query with the uh, Tiger, MC, uh, Tiger uh, data MCP server. Uh, you know, uh, like how it is basically generating the output, okay? So now what I will do, I will go ahead and probably, uh, you know, and, and see over here, okay? Let's, let's observe this entire queries, okay? So here you will be able to see that uh, we have using big serial, okay? So this serial, uh, instead of this, we can use big int, okay? There, there are some good functionalities whenever you work with PostgreSQL, uh, instead of using varchar, I had also seen varchar over here, right? Instead of using varchar, uh, we could use text because varchar requires more space. Instead of using timestamp, we can use also timestamps, right? So there are multiple things which we can specifically use. And again, it depends on different, different LLM models that we are using. Now, what I will do, the same query, this time, I will try to use the Tiger Data MCP server, okay? Now, this will be my next prompt, okay? Now see this, I will go ahead and write one more prompt. Now this time, this prompt will be there saying that using the Tiger Data MCP server and time scale best practices, please redesign this IoT sensor schema for production use. Requirements, I've given all the requirements. Data retention, 90 days for raw data, this one. Create an optimized schema using time scale DB hyper tables, okay? Time scale DB hyper tables and you know what time scale is all about, right? So if you go ahead and see over here, 
This time scale is nothing but it's a Postgres uh, SQL extension for high performance real time analytics on time series and event data. So it basically helps us to generate this, right? So now what I will do, I will go back over here. And I'm saying that proper table design with best practices, hyper table configuration, indexes for common queries, retention policies, and all these things. And then I will just go ahead and press, right? So now what it will do, it will now, see it is asking me to probably run this setup time scale DB hyper tables. And now once I click on run, now it will go ahead and start writing its own, uh, you know, the entire. Now see, it is also asking me one more semantic search tiger docs. So it is also going and seeing that. So MCP server purpose is that we should be able to get the right context, right? That is basically required to do a specific task. So now my entire query is basically getting created. And definitely inside this, how do you know that both these queries are good or not? Okay. We'll also compare that. We'll compare, we'll tell the LLM models only. Okay. And here, uh, definitely, you should be able to see we will be getting good, good, uh, uh, you know, uh, good, uh, better data types. We'll be able to get uh, compressions also, segmentation, ordering, sparse indexes, and many more things. So, let's. So, here is my optimized dot SQL. And now, here you can see uh, I've got text instead of varicar, right? These are some of the things that I can note about text, 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 right? And here you can see begin double precision. All these are things are good. But again, how do I go ahead and compare both of them? So let's do style by side comparison. So now I will give one more thing prompt. Now compare these two approaches, create a comparison document that shows storage estimates for one month of data. So let's say with the help of schema.sql, right? If I'm storing one, one month of data, how much space this will require? How much space this will require, right? Query performance difference for common operation, maintenance burden, cost analysis, specific mistakes prevented by MCP graded or save to this uh, comparison.md. So let's see uh, what kind of comparison is basically done from both of them, okay? So now read schema, read optimize schema.sql, uh, planning the next moves. Here now you can see how it will go ahead and plan, okay? Uh, so here you can see all the comparison is basically happening and this MD file will get created. See, at the end of the day, it's always better that you use AI for doing all the specific tasks if you are an expert and also try to see that whether specific MCP server is there or not because that will definitely help you to give the most recent context, okay? So here you can see has got created. I will just go ahead and preview this, okay? Now see. So storage one estimates for one month of data, sensor 10,000, so and so. So uh, it shows somewhere around how much GB is this, right? So here you can see standard Postgres schemas, raw data storage, big serial, eight bytes, sensor ID this. So raw data 69.12 GB, okay? Let's say for the optimized, if you see, it will be compressed seven GB. 90% right? reduction, you can see this, right? And here are all the other information, see? 69 GB, 7 GB with the help of time scale DB. Standard Postgres SQL, whatever things we have actually created with the schema dot SQL. Indexes, 160 GB is taking space. In the case of time scale, only 5 GB. Saving is 97%. Aggregates, 1.25 and this is 0.125. So total is 230 GB here, 12 to 15 GB just for one month, right? So this way, you'll be able to get only $180 per year, but this is actually helping you to get $2,760. And you can see all this performance metrics, right? Very good performance metrics, all the information is there. So here you can see maintenance burden, standard postures, equal manual tasks required, partition management, material view, refresh, data retention. Whereas in the case of time scale optimized schema, here you can see everything is done. Right, zero hour, zero hour, zero hour. You don't have to even do anything of this, right? So uh, uh, I will also go ahead and ask, like, uh, explain how MCP helped. I'll just go ahead and ask this question, and let's see what kind of response I will be able to get. Okay, um, definitely a good response. I'm always expecting from this. And it will give you the entire report. So that's the reason, you know, we should definitely go ahead and use this MCP server specifically for Postgres. And I think I've never seen this because I myself have developed multiple applications specifically for our product. And we are doing this kind of review 
each and everything we are doing over here right so now let's do this how mcp server this one and i'll just go ahead and do the preview and here you should be able to see this right without mcp this is this deprecated with mcp guidance everything is happening and deprecated is also one of the issues right because the llm models will always not be trained right with the recent data a lot of updates may be coming up what mcp server is basically doing is that they have the updated context and with the help of that you will be able to get it so i hope you like this particular video okay all the information regarding this will be given in the description of this particular video and if you are definitely designing postgres database schema design definitely use this uh, tiger data uh, mcp server uh, which will actually help you to write more efficient postgres code uh, for developing applications so yes this was it from my side i'll see you in the next video thank you take care bye, -bye.